when first like put this idea in front of me, it was, yeah, that's great, but there is no way we're ever gonna make this happen. We can't afford this under any scenario. And yet you put together the contributions of all the partner organizations and agencies out there, and this is what happens at the end. At Walmart, we've been working on Acres for America since 2005, when we started it with the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation. Initially, it was a pretty simple idea. Let's conserve an acre of land for every acre that we develop at Walmart. And it's grown into something orders of magnitude above that. 107 projects across 42 states. And two of those projects have been in Virginia in the last year. I grew up here on the Eastern Shore. The Chesapeake Bay was literally my backyard. And one of the reasons I chose to get into public service was I watched the demise of the Chesapeake Bay. And for companies like Walmart to recognize the importance of people living here on the Eastern Shore, uh, having productive lives, and, and that all feeds into the economy and, and it just makes it a, a better place to, to live, work, and raise our families. The Doe Creek expansion is actually a, a fantastic land conservation opportunity. DWR's mission is actually summarized in three words, conserve, connect, and protect. Let's conserve our wildlife and critical habitats across the state, connect the public with the wildlife and our natural resources, and protect those resources through the actions of our conservation police officers. This is really a monumental achievement and something that couldn't happen without everybody. The word Rappahannock means where the river rises and falls, the people who live where the river rises and falls. It's historic for our tribe. It's historic for Virginia. It's historic for the United States. That we're gonna be able to return finally to the river. Today we're here to celebrate the completion of an acquisition of land, 465 acres here at Phones Cliffs by the Rappahannock tribe. I feel so honored to be part of this opportunity to restore this land under their management and to conserve it for generations to come. Thank you so much. This is so surreal for me that I welcome you all here today on behalf of the Rappahannock tribe and the ancestors who worked so hard for today but never lived to see it. We are proud today to join the Rappahannock tribe in co-stewardship of this portion of their ancestral homeland, and we look forward to drawing upon tribal expertise, experience, and indigenous knowledge in helping to manage the wildlife and habitat on this property. Supporting an inclusive and collaborative approach to conserve and restore America's lands and waters for the benefit of all people. On top of the cliffs, there are a number of bald eagle nests. They return there and nest there. Such magnificent birds with such power. Protecting this land also protects the river, its habitats and its water quality, so that it continue to support river herring and striped bass and Atlantic sturgeon. The Atlantic sturgeon that have called this river home for 85 million years. So we see the land as a living, breathing entity. We see it as a part of who we are. But not only is it healing for us, it's healing for the land and the things that are on the land. Because when the land is sick, so are the people. The agenda was, you know, to protect this place for future generations. But you don't have any of that without a love for the land. <laughs>